Okay, these are the last set of problems from the 2008 exam uh, calculator portion, 88 to 92. So 88, we have a radius of a sphere uh, decreasing at a rate of uh, 2 centimeters per second. So uh, radius of a sphere, uh, we can uh, represent that as a r, uh, but it's decreasing, so we know that's going to be a rate, so we can say dr over dt is, uh, and we see decreasing, so we're going to make that a negative uh, value, negative 2 centimeters per second. Um, at the instant when the radius of the sphere is 3 centimeters, so we're going to mark that uh, down, r equals 3 centimeters, what is the rate of change uh, of the surface area? So surface area is s, so we're going to let um, ds over dt represent um, the rate of change in surface area. Uh, of the sphere. Okay. And so we're looking for ds over dt, and we're given that the surface area of a sphere is s equals 4 pi r squared. So let's just go ahead and find the derivative. So s becomes ds over dt, 4 pi r squared becomes 8 pi r dr over dt. We know dr over dt is negative 2, we know radius is 3, and then the rest we can just combine together. Uh, 8 times 3 is 24, times negative 2 is negative 48. So negative 48 pi square centimeters per second. Okay, 89. Uh, the function f is continuous uh, uh, between negative 2 and 2. And we have order pairs given to us. f of negative 2 is 0. f of 2 is equal to 0. If there is no c where uh, c between negative 2 and 2, for which f prime of c is equal to 0, so um, the graph is continuous. We have these order pairs, but there's no point where the slope is equal to zero. Okay, which of the following must be true? Uh, so uh, between negative two and two, f prime is greater than zero. That's not uh, going to be true because the graph is going to have to go up and come down uh, because we have these two points kind of anchoring the ends of this uh, graph. And uh, there's no point where the slope is zero, so it must be a sharp point, right? Uh, there's no point where uh, we can ever have a, a smooth uh, relative maximum because there's no point where slope is zero. And because our graph is continuous, yet no point where slope is zero, then there must be a sharp point where f prime does not exist. And so that brings us to part E. For some k value, uh, where k is between negative 2 and 2, f prime does not exist. Again, let's see, part A and B we can take out because the slope is going to have to change um, uh, from positive to negative at some point, so those two are out. Um, F prime of K exists, so we know that can't be true, especially if we're going to have a sharp point. And then F prime of K exists, but F prime is not continuous. Um, and this, um, um, we know F prime is going to be continuous. Uh, because we're, we have a, a point that, that exists. Um, and also, if f prime exists, if the slope exists, uh, then there's no way that uh, f prime is not continuous. So we know part d is out. Okay, number 90. Uh, the function f is continuous on the closed interval from 2 to 4 and twice differentiable on the open interval from 2 to 4. If f prime of 3 is equal to 2, so the slope at 3 is exactly 2, uh, and we also know that um, f double prime is less than 0. So what that means is that our slope is going to keep decreasing okay, on the interval from 2 to 4. Which of the following could be a table of values for f? Okay. Now, if you look at these um, values, these values are increasing and all these values are increasing um, uh, uh, from a smaller to a larger value. However, f double prime is negative. So what that means is that uh, the rate of change between these order pairs are going to keep decreasing. Okay. So we know from 2 to 3, if we, um, if we find the slope there, uh, that's going to give us 2.5. Uh, between 3 and 4, that will give us 1.5. And I'm going to just go ahead and <coughs> find the slope for each of these order pairs. So 2.5, 2, 2, and 1.5, 2, and 2, 1.5, and 2.5.
Okay? We want something where there's a decreasing rate or decreasing rate of change. So 2.5, 1.5, this fits the bill. Uh, 2.5 to 2, that's decreasing. Uh, 2 to 1.5, that's also decreasing. Uh, but from 2 to 2, we see that uh, this is going to be a constant uh, rate of increase. Uh, so uh, we know that that's not going to be, uh, that's not going to fulfill where F double prime is negative. There's going to be a decreasing rate. And also here we see an increasing rate, so we know that can't be true. So we're down to these three options. Okay. Now we know that F prime of 3 is equal to 2, so we need the slope to be decreasing continually. So 2.5 to 2 to 2, we see that there's no change between f prime of 3 and between 3 and 4, so we know this is out. And also, um, from uh, the slope between um, 2, 3, and 3, 5 is 2, but then f prime of 3 is 2, so we see that there's not a, uh, a gr uh, c continual decreasing of value, so we have to take out c as well. The only one that's going to fit is going to be choice A because we have the um, rate of change here being 2.5, the exact rate of change here is 2, and then we keep decreasing the rate of change between 3 and 4 is 1.5. Okay, uh, last two problems here. 91, uh, what is the average value of our function on the closed interval? So we can simply apply the average value theorem, 1 over b minus a, definite integral from a to b of f of x. So we can just uh, plug this in our calculator. Um, our a and b values are negative 1 and 3, so 3 minus negative 1. Between negative 1 and 3, this gives us 1 fourth. And we can plug this in our calculator, which will give us uh, 0.7318. Divide by 4, and we get 0 0.183. Okay, 92, a city located besides the river has a rectangular boundary as shown. Uh, the population density of the city at any point along the strip x miles from the river's edge is f of x persons per square mile. Okay, which of the following expressions give the population of the city? So let's talk about um, uh, the population density. So the population density is going to be along this strip here. So if I find the definite integral from 0 to 4 of f of x, then that will give me um, the population for this region here. Okay. However, it's, it's not just the strip that we're worried about. We want to find the population for the entire city, so we need to be able to multiply this strip by 7. So the depth integral of f of x dx from 0 to 4 will, per, will just give us a portion of the population, but we need to be able to multiply this by 7 so that we can um, uh, take care of all these um, uh, populations as well. So that's going to bring us to uh, B as our solution.